What's up guys, it's Matter Masters and Audience, and today I'm here with episode 2 of the Pokemon Sapphire Web Block. I completely forgot what game I was playing for a second. I thought I was playing Emerald for some reason. Last time we started our adventure here in the Hoenn region, and we got some Pokemon, so we're gonna check those out. So we have our starter, Leafa the Mudkip, level 7, has Tackle, Growl, and Mudslap. Her partner is Kirito the Jolly. Jolly Zigzagoon. I was so happy about that when I caught this thing. Uh, with Tackle and Growl. We have Bubba and Pugiana with Tackle. And Alessia, his partner, with Tackle and String Shot. So, in this episode, we are going to be making our way to Rustboro, I'm pretty sure it is. It's not Rusturf. I'm pretty sure it's Rustboro that we're going to be going to. Wait, I have the running shoes. I completely forgot. Um, I'm gonna put Kirito into the front to take on this trainer. The first trainer battle of the game, really, if you don't count May, or in this case, Brendan, because we're a girl. Um, youngster Calvin, you have a Zigzagoon as well. Is yours Jolly? I don't know. <laughs> Mine is. Um, so it's Saturday. Saturdays are fun. Uh, next week is my last full week of school, and my last day of school is on the 23rd, so nine days left until my last day of school. It's gonna be sad, I'm friends with a lot of seniors. Oh my god, I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, um, so, <clears throat> sorry, uh, so it's gonna be sad. Some of my best friends that I've made are seniors, and it's just gonna be really sad. So, I'm not really excited, <laughs> really. But obviously, I am excited. It's gonna happen, obviously. But you know, when you're when you get close to people, it's sad to see them leave, especially because you've been with them. Like, for me, I met all of them in like December, January. Cause that's when I did. That's when I joined drama. I could have joined drama in the fall, cause we did the fall play, but I was just like, nah, I don't feel like it. So I didn't do that. I don't know why I didn't. But you know, um, I always run out of things to talk about. I updated my channel graphics, um, yesterday. So if you guys saw those, I hope you like them, cause I like them. I'm very happy with them. I just realized. Ooh! No! 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 I just realized that Wormbolt could have killed me right there. Um, there's something in my teeth. It's annoying. Cause I just ate. I had Hot Pockets for lunch. Hot, hot Pockets! I don't know. Um, <clears throat> my throat hurts, Kirito leveled up. And Leafa leveled up, so... All the levels. Um, Wurmple... I'm not switching. I don't know why I didn't even think of switching. Leafa has like 2 HP. No, oh, Leafa, um... Kirito. So... We're just gonna keep going on killing this Wormbull, cause Wormbull's annoying. Well, no, not really. I can't really say that, cause I do have Alacia. And, you know, Wormbull's not terrible. Well, Wormbull's terrible, but, um, not so much at Devolution. So I'm gonna put Bubba and Alacia on the front, and yeah. What about this guy? I know he has a tail of this guy. So that's why I don't want Lacey on the front. <clears throat> I just want to get everyone leveled up. He leads with this Puchiana. Okay, I wasn't really sure what he led with. Um, neither of them have Intimidate. I'm pretty sure... Does Puchiana even get Intimidate? I don't know. Oh, wait. Oh, God. This time I have a potion. Okay, I have a potion. So... Oh god, you have how? Um, that's dangerous. 
so this bougie hand is at plus one now. I'm um, kind of scared. Oh my god, I did seven. I need a crit. Or for him to, like, not hit. I outspeed, but... Mm, no! I already have a death. Are you kidding me? It's episode two. And Alacia can't win this. Come on, Alacia. Tank it, tank it, tank it, tank it. Ooh. Oh! Alacia, kill this thing. Kill this thing, Alacia. 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 Yes! So Alicia is definitely gonna level up from that. And now this guy has either a level 4 or level 3 Talo. I'm not sure if it has Peck yet. And I'm scared. It's level 3. It has... Mm. No! Why? Why? Why couldn't Taylor get Peck until level 4? And just have Tackle until level 4? God damn it. I didn't expect that to happen going into this. We already have two deaths in episode 2. Oh my god. So, we're gonna avoid this girl, because I'm not about to have that happen. I don't even care anymore. Okay. So we are now in Pe Petalburg City. And we don't have an old rod, so we can't actually catch anything. But... Uh, Alicia and Bubba. I already lost a couple. Not even just one Pokemon, a couple. I'm gonna come over here and battle this girl, but I just... Mm, I don't care, I'll lower my attack. Go ahead. Tell it. She has two zigzagoons? I thought she had like... Oh, that might be an emerald, never mind. I don't care, this... I'm just angry, okay? I'm sorry, guys. I know I just sped up that whole thing, but... I'm just angry. I didn't... We got a potion. That could have been useful. And here's Ralts. I want a Ralts. So, we're gonna come up here. And uh, we have our dad here. Oh, that actually said it on the screen. Oops. So, if you guys didn't know, obviously, from right now, that's gonna be our thumbnail. So, <laughs> yeah. To be honest, I could have just waited until after the episode was over and then took a screenshot of it, but still. So Wally is about to go get his Ralts. Wally, I think I really like Wally. Like, people always sleep on Wally and they're always like, oh, Wally's so bad, he's just a little sick boy. And I'm like, and I'm over here like, I love Wally. Wally, I just want to hug him. Because he's just so cute. And he has the Ralts. And I think that if he returns in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, which he really should, then he should have Omega Gardevoir. Enough said. Either that, or introduce Mega Altaria and give him Mega Altaria, or just a Mega Gardevoir. He's probably gonna have a Mega Gardevoir. Because Mega Gardevoir is power, and Wally is awesome, so he deserves a Mega Gardevoir. Enough said. Uh, so he's gonna. I'm just gonna speed this up. I don't know why I didn't speed it up before. Uh, so we're gonna talk very quick. And in this episode, thinking about it, we're gonna catch our beliefs. Three or four Pokemon. Really depends on if I go to it, the other place. Um. Those of you that haven't played Ruby and Sapphire, I'm going to try not to spoil anything. So, uh, we're going to make our way past here. And this is a new area, so we can catch a new Pokemon. 
And because we have two Pokemon, the gender does not matter, so we get a Wingle. Yes! Um. Uh, Pelipper is not a good Pokemon, but I don't care. I like Wingle, I like Pelipper. Uh. Oh yeah, someone in school was telling me that he really likes Wingle and that Wingle is his favorite Pokemon. So this is for you, but it's Guy, so I'm not going to name this Wingle after him. Uh, where are we going to name this Wingle? We're going to name this Wingle. Oh, I'm just walked in. It's fine though. She looks really, she looked really surprised, and I feel bad because I think she thinks that she messed up something, but it's fine. Uh, I don't know, if, I don't even know if the mic picked it up. Either way, it doesn't matter. Um, to be fair, I forgot to tell her that I was recording, so I guess it's kind of my fault. But yeah, so we have Pel Goddess because there's the running Pel God joke between all the. Oh my God, brave! Are you kidding me? We're gonna have that physical pedal god. Uh, so I'm not really sure how it works if you have like a Pokemon without a partner. I'm gonna guess that you. I'm just gonna play it where you can't use it until you get it a partner. So in that case, we cannot use Pelagodis just yet until we catch Pokemon here in Pedalburg Woods, which is another new area. So our encounter here is going to be. A Zigzagoon, that's Dupes Claws, we already have one, plus it was a female, so uh, we can't really pair it up with Pelagodis. A Shroomish, male Shroomish, yes! Okay. That's actually pretty good. Oh, we have one Pokeball. Shit. Uh, please. Okay, I forgot to get, I forgot to buy Pokeball before I completely meant to, but I forgot. So, I'm gonna name it It's a Me, which is my name for. No, um, which is my Breloom's name in X and Y. It takes a lot of changing and stuff. It's a me, Breloom. It's a me, Mario. I can't do it. <clears throat> oh. oh, crap. I didn't mean to run into you. So, this guy, I hate this guy. Do I have a potion? I don't think I have a potion. I do have a potion. Oh, okay. Wait, he just lowered my defense. I'm not about to have that. But I just really hate battling this guy and the girl at the end of Pedalburg Woods because they have freaking full restores. We're switching. We're switching. This guy and the other girl, they're really annoying and that's why I'm speeding it up because I hate these battles. Okay, there we go. Rich boy Winston, I don't care about you. So we're gonna head back to Pedalburg and heal up and get more Pokeballs and then we'll make our way through Pedalburg Woods and do other things and yeah. So we're gonna buy 10 Pokeballs and 4 potions because I thought we can buy and now we're gonna head back over here. Um, we're gonna put Peliodis and it's a me. Ooh, Kirito has an item. Revive? That's completely useless. Um, Peliodis. Oh god. It's a me. Uh, actually, we'll switch in Peliodis and Growl. Now switch in it's a me and Tackle. Oh god. This is gonna take a while. He's gonna keep using Bide. And it's gonna be annoying. So, I'm sorry I've been speeding up like a lot this episode. But it's just these battles are really annoying in the beginning. And I really don't like them. And especially this guy, because I don't really have anything to do much damage to him. So it's really like it's gonna take a little while to see, to get rid of this C dot, but either way, uh, it doesn't matter what he does, cause another water don't kill him. And 
I'm pretty sure he has a Talo. Uh, we're just gonna stay in, because Talo, as we learned before, has... What? Why do you have a lovely Talo? Okay, that's scary. What? I never knew this guy had a level 8 Talo. Oh my god. I hate this. Now it's a me is gonna die too. Mm. I hate this game. Thank you, Kurizo. Shut up, you killed two of my Pokemon. didn't expect it to be this hard. I really didn't think it was this hard. In the beginning, at least. So... Oh, I put him in the wrong box. Oh my god, that's four deaths in the first episode. I didn't even look at these two. Wait, I looked at you, you were brave. You were quirky? I don't know what that does. He was close to leveling. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate you so much. <clears throat> Just saying. So now we have two Pokemon, and we have to make our way through Pedalburg Woods and take on Jim. Well, to be fair, by the time we get to the gym, we'll have like four Pokemon. So, or hopefully, we'll have four Pokemon. This guy's got six Wormpoles, so I'm not about to do this normally or normal speed. I mean. And Kiri does leveling up a lot, so that's good. Uh, he just got six level three Wurmples, and it's just stupid. I don't get why this guy has so many Wurmples. We had a Wurmple. I'm actually gonna kill this Castoon, because it's evolved, and it'll give more EXP than a normal Pokemon would. So, it's just gonna be better off. I'm just gonna be better off killing it. Uh, we're gonna put Leafa in the front. Do I have any? I, I do not have any potions. Because I used all of them in that battle before trying to save friggin' Pelagatus and. What's his name? Into me. And those are two good Pokemon that I wanted to use. So we have Team Aqua here. This is the evil team in Pokemon Sapphire. Obviously, if we were playing Pokemon Ruby, then we would be encountering a. Team Magma Grunt here, but we are playing Sapphire, so it's Team Aqua. He has level 9 Pugina. We are under leveled for this game. Oh my god. We're definitely gonna have grinding for the next episode. Because then the next episode, we'll be taking on the gym and I think making our way to Duford. So, yeah. Uh, he's gonna howl. That's scary. But I did lower his accuracy before with Mudslap. I just realized that. So, um, he is not gonna be doing as much damage. Or, no. He's not gonna be as accurate when it comes to hitting. Hitting. Okay. Oh, um, what? I, my accuracy is not low. My accuracy is not lowered. The hell? Uh, luckily, Mudkip's family is bulky as hell. So, yeah. We were able to take that, like, plus two tackle. Uh, lethal's level 10. Water gun! That would have been useful before. I don't know what it would have been useful. Uh, so, we're just gonna make our way through this woods. I don't care what you have to say. I don't care what you have to say. You give us a great ball, that's okay. Um, this next trainer up here has two Ninkatas, so water gun will be super effective. Um, there's... There's something that I need to clear up when we get out of this woods, because... People say that the route after Pedalburg, Pe after Pedalburg Woods, it's kind of like um, the route after Viridian Forest in all the first gen games, where it's the same route as the route beforehand. I just need to clarify that, because I remember doing some kind of Nuzlocke off screen, and I think I caught a Pokemon in both areas, so yeah. Can't be popular if you lose. Don't be popular. Don't try and be popular. You don't want to be popular. Or at least in school. J 
Just saying. I would know I'm not popular. Yep, it is Route 104. So we're just going to get some Orin Berries. Because I actually need these things. And we're going to get Bullet Seed. Because Bullet Seed's a pretty good move. Especially if you have a special attacking grass type in this game. Because grass is a special type. So, yeah. Uh, we're just going to make our way through here. We have Water Gun now. So this girl shouldn't be as annoying. Um... Okay, two water guns. It was out. Okay, so we're gonna come up here, and we don't have to battle them, cause I think it's a mandatory battle if you have two Pokemon in Emerald. But either way, so we are now in Rustboro City. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, cause Rust. Mm, yeah, it's Rust Turf Tunnel, but Rustboro City, which I don't get. Why can't it be just called Rust Turf City or Rustboro Tunnel? I don't know. So, uh, we are in Rustboro City, yep, I was right. And we have the first gym here, but we are going to be taking that on next episode, because I definitely need to grind. So Route 116, we can catch another Pokemon, and because we have two Pokemon, it doesn't really matter, but we get an Inkada! Yes! So, uh, we can't even use Shedinja, now that I'm thinking about it, but, uh, Ninkata is still okay. Uh, Ninjask is the, I believe in this game, actually, the fastest Pokemon. Oh, wait, no. Because Deoxys Speed is even in this, in this, because Deoxys Speed is in this game, too. Uh, I do have Pokeballs, I have a Premier Ball, and I have a Great Ball. So, we'll definitely be able to catch this Ninkata, and it will be paired up with a Wizmer, because if you don't know, the cave that we are about to go to has only Wizmers in it, so, yeah. Um, and we're going to be able to catch this Ninkata, and we're going to nickname it. I don't know what we're going to nickname it. Um, what were we going to nickname her? I'm trying to think female ninjas. Oh, what's her name? Sue. I think that's it. So, Sue is the name of a thief in game that I play. It's the game where I got the name Zenonius from. I talked about it before, I think in Storm Silver or Platinum. Not sure. But, uh, pretty sure it was Storm Silver. Uh, but, so we have Soothe and Kata, level 6. Let's check her out now. Calm Nature, I think that sucks for, um, Sue. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a bad nature for an Ninkata. Uh, Harden, Scratch, and Leech Life. So, we're gonna head over to. Rust Surf Tunnel, we're going to take on some trainers on the way, uh, we're going to actually put Kirito in the front, and then we're going to catch our Pokemon in Rust Surf Tunnel, and then that will end up the episode, and in the next episode we will be taking our Roxanne. So we're going to go this way, because I'm pretty sure that guy has a Machop up there, and I'm not about to deal with that. We got a Repel, that's going to be useful. Um, this guy has Bugs, because he's a Bug Trainer. I didn't like how... In X and Y, they cut out the Bug Trainer. Because I liked Bug Trainers. Bug is a pretty cool type. But now I kind of hate it because of Storm Silver. If you didn't if you didn't watch Storm Silver, then first of all, you should. Uh, and second, then you wouldn't know why Bug types kind of bother me now. But uh, we have Headbutt on Kirito now, and that's pretty good. So... Oh, Kirito has an item. Let's take that. Ultra Ball. Oh, that's good. Especially in the beginning of the game. Uh, I want to keep Kirito alive as much as long as possible, because Kirito, or er, because I had a Zigzagoon in Storm Silver that actually died in Episode Two, and I was really sad about that. Ooh, you're level ten, and I have no potions, so we're gonna switch, because I don't trust myself. And actually, because I stayed and went for a thing there, a uh, headbutt there, but you know, I didn't know I was gonna go for Tail Whip. Uh, we're gonna head back to the Pokemon Center, cause Kirito is at low health, and I don't trust myself. I really don't trust myself, learning from this episode. I really do not trust myself, because I lost four Pokemon in one episode. Um, all of which I was excited to use, so, it really sucks. But, you know, live and learn. I know to be more careful and not use low-level Pokemon. So, we're gonna... Head over to Rust Earth Tunnel and get our encounter there. 
Ooh, you're a hiker. We're gonna put Leaf on the front. Because Leafa can actually do damage to rock types. Because Leafa has Water Gun! The all powerful stab quad super effective Water Gun on these Geodudes. Destroy them. And Sturdy doesn't work the same as it does in Gen 5 and further in this game because it's not Gen 5, it's Gen 3. So Sturdy does not work the same way as it does. So it does. So Water Gun will definitely one shot all of them. I'm excited to see this area in the new game. So our first encounter, oh my god, it's a Whismur. Uh, and it's a male, so uh, Mudslap. And Mudslap. And Pokeball. And Pokeball. Thank you. So my nickname for Whismurs, or at least my nickname for x uh, my x and X and Y's name, shut up, in all caps. So that's where, so that's what we're going to name our Wismer. Uh, where's the exclamation points? There we go. So shut up the Wismer, and we're gonna get a push. Or oh, I thought it was a potion. We're gonna get a Pokeball, and we can't come over here because there are Rock Smash rocks, and we do not have Rock Smash for a while actually. So we're gonna get out here. We're going to make our way back to the Pokemon Center. I actually want to check out my Wismer very quick. A uh, lax nature. I'm not sure what that does. Its attack is pretty good, which is good because we do have uproar, and normal is a uh, physical type in this game, and uproar is a base 90 move. So a base 90 attack move at this point in the game is pretty friggin' awesome. So. Uh, we're going to head over to the Pokemon Center, and that is going to be it for episode 2. Uh, what was I going to say? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you want, you can comment. That's completely up to you. And of course, if you really liked it and you want to see more, then make sure you subscribe to the channel, because I will be putting out videos like this hopefully every day, if I remember. Uh, I've been doing pretty good recently, so I hope I can keep it up, especially with the summer coming soon, so I'll have time. I'll definitely have time to just record. So, uh, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, my name is Matt, or Master Zanonius. Later!